Hi guys, it's Dave here with RNRV Chronicles and I just wanted to do a uh, video on um, what we use uh, first of all for um, the Wi-Fi and also what we use for TV. Real quick, we have a jetpack from Verizon. Now this is one that we actually lease off of a guy. We pay him a certain amount of money every month. He has the plan and we're just leasing it off of him. Paying him a certain amount of money, like I said, every month. You can buy these things. Uh, if you have a business, as far as I know, for the research I have done, you it's a business from one business to another. It's the grandfathered um, Verizon uh, Unlimited plan. It's grandfathered in. And you can buy it, usually it's around seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe sometimes more. You might be able to find a special where it's a little bit less. But what they do is they will transfer it over into your business name. I don't have a business, so I couldn't do that. Don't have a grandfathered, you know, claw or, or um, service plan. So therefore, we lease it off of a guy. It is kind of expensive, but it's not overly expensive. However, we actually got a really good deal on this one because for everywhere I have ever seen, especially on uh, eBay and where you know whatnot, they're actually charging fifty, sixty dollars more a month. Uh, so we actually got a really good plan on this. In my opinion, it's well worth it to us. When you're out camping and you're running from campground to campground, you will notice that the campground's uh, Wi-Fi just, it's bad, it's horrible. It's slow speeds, uh, sometimes you can't even connect. So there's a lot of issues with it, so don't ever think you're going to go out on the road and rely on a uh, campground that says, yep, we have Wi-Fi, don't rely on it. It's, it's not going to be that good. I mean, you may run into one or two you know, around that are half decent, but really it's, they're not that good. We used to use something called a Wi-Fi Ranger. Now what this thing does, this was actually pretty expensive, but what this did, we had it mounted up on the roof and you saw here earlier, or I'll show you a clip now, of whenever uh, we went up and we just took it off and where we had it mounted. Go ahead, babe. Go, go camera two. Do you? Yep. Yeah. I use it when I go up my trip. That right there, don't worry about it. What? That sign. Vent pipes. Thanks. Well, I'm up here. Vents, huh? Here, take a quick look around. This is Val Vista. Look at all the palm trees. Damn. It's December 14th right now, and I think it's probably about 75 degrees out here. Beautiful. Well, you look pretty too. Thank you. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so here you go, Kate. Anyways, guys, here is the Wi Fi Ranger antenna. And I actually just took it and screwed it on with two uh, clamps onto the TV antenna so that when I turned it around and had everything laying down, this just laid flat onto the roof. And when I came back up, it was up. The only problem is, is that then I had to run the wire up out through the front window up to this, which is no big deal. It was fine because we set for three months at a time, so it's fine for me doing that. I would not do this if um, we were working it any other way, like every week or something like that. If we were moving. Uh, but anyways, this is the antenna. I am actually just going to take it off right now because we don't need it up here anymore. Uh, because we do not use this right now, so I may wind up just selling it on eBay or I don't know, I'll figure something out here. this thing works great I mean it pulls in 
Wi-Fi up to like seven miles away as long as you have a, a line of sight to that receiver. Um, but, and it connects right into, what was nice about this, and, and the same thing that the Jetpack does, is it makes it a personalized um, um, network inside my motorhome. So, you know, up inside here, you would actually connect your cable to it, and um, it would run to my wireless router, and then we had access to everything within the router. It worked great as long as you had a good Wi-Fi that you could connect to. Uh, back in North Carolina, I mean, it worked great. We pulled in a lot of different places, it, particularly the hot spots within the park, the RV park. However, the RV park didn't have that good of Wi-Fi service. Uh, it sustained us through our stay there, but as soon as we left, we started searching right away to find something a little bit different. So. Uh, when we were up in Wyoming, we ran into RV Outlaws, and they turned us on to this. Next, I just want to go over real quick what we use for TV. One, and this is not a review of the product, so I'm not going to go over the review of the product. I will show you how it works on the television here a little bit later. But what we use is what's called a Roku. Uh, this is the Roku 4. It is for 4K. We have another one in the back for the back bedroom that is actually just a Roku 3. It's 1080p. I do not have a 4K in the house here, but we uh, had this before uh, we bought the RV, and I did not feel like going out and spending in, you know more money for another uh, Roku. I might, though, here in the very near future, and I'll let me explain why. One, this thing gets very hot, especially if you have it inside of a cabinet, excuse me, where there is no uh, good ventilation or cool air coming in. It gets very hot, and everybody knows electronics and heat does not mix very well so this uh, Roku 4 does get very hot it does have vents on the bottom however there's no place for it to vent out on the top it's just not a very good design Roku and speaking directly to you that was not very wise there are other boxes every one of their other boxes I've ever had work great this one gets extremely hot but this connects to via Wi-Fi to our uh, jetpack, Verizon jetpack, and we stream videos, Netflix, and whatever else that we have on here. The good thing I do like about this here particular remote is that it is a radio frequency uh, remote. It is not based off of just um, the infrared where you have to have line of sight. So this works very well. You can have this thing hidden in different areas or wherever, and you can just boom, push a button pointing anywhere or anywhere within the coach, and it will work. The other thing that we use is a Linux box, or I'm sorry, not Linux, uh, Android box. And this here is running uh, XBMC, which is now known as Kodi, K-O-D-I. Very good program. Um, all I can do is say Google it, uh, either XBMC or Kodi. It's now called Kodi. Um, real quick gist of what it is is XBMC is Xbox Media Center uh, Years ago a whole bunch of geeks got together and designed a program uh, Interface for the Xbox a media center interface and from there it just took off and started growing this thing um, Not so much this but the program can do so much that it is it's crazy um, and in fact, uh, you need to be careful because it can get into actually doing some stuff that probably is not legal. So be aware of that. Be very aware of that. Um, but there are other things that are, you know, it's okay. So, you know, be careful. But uh, we watch uh, some different t uh, TV shows that are being put on, like up in Canada, that you cannot get through Netflix. Or you can get it through Netflix, but you're not getting... All the seasons down through so this you know works pulls a lot of that stuff in works very well again connects wirelessly to the jetpack and um, works great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the TV here hook everything back up and I will show you how these things work but more importantly the interface as well okay guys this is the Roku 4 that we have in our living room uh, as you can see, you can add uh, programs onto it. 
and each one of these little squares here are different programs that you can add in. Um, we used to watch our TV back home with this program right here called US TV Now. Uh, it was like, I don't know, $30 a month or something like that, $29 or $24 or something a month. And you actually got quite a few programs. Um, as you can see, um, there's ABC, NBC, uh, CW, Fox, um, CBS, uh, PBS, you know, Mine 9, and it goes all the way down. I mean, there's a lot of um, different channels that you can actually have. Now, I cannot get some of the latter ones here anymore because I'm not no longer paying for this. But I can get the free ones, like uh, CW, Mike, it is on. So we'll pull this up, and it should start playing. And this is actually in low def, so I'm not going to play it long because of uh, copyrights. But um, it'll work. It is not in high def on this because I'm not paying for it, so it's a, a very low quality. Uh, so we can watch TV on that if we want to local channels but why would I watch that um, whenever we can get high def channels uh, local channels in your major networks over the air with our antenna so anyways um, there's that program you have uh, like the blaze you know we watch the blaze every once in a while um, whoops um, you know Amazon with Amazon Prime we have Hulu we do not use Hulu um, but it's on there. Uh, we have uh, iHeartRadio, K Love, uh, Fox Now, um, you know, History Channel, a whole bunch of different things that you can watch. Now, some of these don't work because we're not, um, you know, on a paid subscription with some of these. But you can watch YouTube. Um, there's a lot of different things on here. Uh, let's see. And the biggest one that we use is actually Netflix. So everybody, I'm sure you know about Netflix, and it's rather easy to go through. Uh, this is a show that uh, we like to watch. It's Heartland. It's actually from Canada, and it's a very, very good show. It's been on for 10 years. We love it. We've been watching it for about three years now, and hey, now who cannot remember Bob Ross? Anyways, so you get the idea. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things. Um, music. We can stream music with it, uh, which we do a lot of times uh, through iHeartRadio. And it will play through our surround sound. Uh, so it, it works uh, very well. Let's see if I can pull something up here quick. Um, here's a Christmas. So it works through uh, streaming music, uh, which is really nice too. Uh, so you get the idea on what this here particular thing can do. There are so many channels that you can get to um, add to this if you want to. Um, it's just, there's probably, I'm, I'm going to say hundreds if not thousands of channels that you can add. Now a lot of them like this one uh, here is your NFL and I'm sure it's probably a paid one you're gonna have to pay for a subscription for it um, HBO if y'all have a um, let's say um, cable somewhere else uh, at, at your home or wherever it is you can use these channels here when you're on the go you just put in your information for your um, account back home that you have with your cable and then you'll be able to stream uh, your video right here uh, and watch all this stuff there's so much you can do with these Roku's they're so they're so cool however the other one that I wanted to show you is the uh, Android box with Cody and as much as this right here channel can do this Roku Cody can do Ten times more. Well, let me grab the right remote. Change the channel here.
and this is just the start up of it so we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna come over to this right here called Cody I don't know if you can see that blue kind of diamond thing that's Cody this thing you can do pit streaming on pictures um, video music and different programs with this we use it with video uh, have never actually streamed music with this ever um, I'm not going to get into the technical part of all this because there is so much that this program can do I would be here for hours trying to explain everything to you it take I like I said I've used uh, XBMC Cody for probably eight years or so seven or eight years um, this is a pretty incredible um, program um, I do know quite a bit about it it's constantly evo constantly evolving becoming better uh, but you have to uh, look it up and start doing your research for yourself you cannot just get XP or uh, Cody and load it into your um, Android box and be able to just start streaming all this stuff that I'm talking about you have to find ways to put it in the best place to go for right now that I can tell you is go to that what it says out there in the right hand corner TV add-ons dot com um, and go from there it's called one channel and we're going to go into TV shows and let's go into favorites and here are some uh, shows that I have already pre-programmed in that we watch periodically and like I said guys we're not huge um, TV watchers uh, but my wife likes to watch Dancing with the Stars so we'll you know sit back and sometimes she's working and stuff and we're not going to be able to watch them the day that they put them on so therefore we watch them whenever we feel like it and so there they are um, and I mean, I have everyone all the way back from the, when they started back in 2005. We have every season, all the way up to season 23. So we can watch every one of them. And just to show you here, season 23. And here's all the, sh all the shows. So, and just to show you real quick how this works. Say we want to watch this one. So it will come up. And then it will bring you sources on where you can uh, stream it from. Now, not all of these sources will work, but some of them will. You just have to go, it's like a hit and miss. You have to go through and try to find ones that will. So we'll just push this here, see if this works. It may take a second for it to pull up. Looks like this one will work. Boom, there you go. This thing will do a lot, a lot more than what your Roku box will do. Um, and other things that it will do is movies. Now, earlier I said you got to be careful on what you do with this because you can actually watch movies that is in the box off right box office right now playing in theaters uh, I know that's not kosher that's not legal so you gotta be careful with what you do uh, with some of these programs that you put in here so I'm just sending that warning out there um, we do everything we can to avoid that kind of stuff however there are things that we do like to use it for that are out there for us to watch. Um, again, like I just said, in my favorites, um, that one show, Heartland. We like to watch Heartland. And if you watch Heartland on um, Netflix, Netflix only has, I think, up to like season seven. But as you can see here, we have all the way up to season 10, which this is the 10th year. In fact, just last night we just watched a movie, 
or the, the last one that they had on so far called a horse with no rider. So some of these will be streamed in standard def, some of them come in on high def. So it's just all a hit and miss. But we are perfectly fine with standard def. It looks fine in our coach. It's it, it works for us. Um, but there is a lot of stuff in here that you can actually uh, stream in uh, high def. So and that's just this is just one program out of all these programs that are in here. And some of these I'm not even and, and this isn't even part this isn't even half of them. There's thousands of programs for this um, that you can watch. You can you can pull in live TV. Where do I go? Here we go. Let's see if this works. Let's just come down and try ABC. See if that works on streaming. Yep. So there you go. I just don't have the volume up, but it does work. So some of these things you can um, you can get to work. I don't want to get strikes, copyright strikes. But anyways, as you can see, things things do work on this, um, and there are a ton of things. I don't want to go into everything. Just wanted to show you how it works uh, and what we use it for. Um, there's a man. I'm just going to say it again. There are. Go online and just research it. There is so much that you can do with this. We mainly use one channel, but let's say one channel doesn't have it. We may go in and try Exodus. And if Exodus doesn't have it, I may come down and try it with you know something else, and try to see if we can you know pull it in, uh, you know through all those other resources. This. I have what maybe 10 or 15 programs on here are channels and there are literally like I said thousands thousands of them from all over the world so it's really really cool uh, project TV free TV that's another good one uh, you can look up movies uh, for instance let's come down here and do a quick search on a movie and Oh, that's right. It's, I don't think it's on this one. Yeah, it is. There it is. My cousin Vinny. So you can actually pull these up. Uh, let's see if there's one here that works. Like I said, not every one will work. So you got to just kind of like keep going through and trying to find one that will. And all they are are sources or links to where it was for you to stream or could be or is so you just have to go through and keep trying until it will connect now remember you have to have good internet service for this you can't do it if it's not if you don't have really good internet so I don't feel like going through and trying to find it right now so but anyways you can see what these here things do so we use again a um, Android box with Cody on it you can do your research just Google Cody K-O-D-I and we also use a uh, Roku uh, for streaming most of our television that we want to watch and then of course we do use the antenna so if you have any questions please um, leave them in uh, other comments please subscribe um, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. I hope you uh, uh, enjoyed what you've seen. So take care. God bless and bye for now.